These are the pieces of a killing machine. 77 millimeter gun. Artillery silenced nearly 100 years, strewn across the floors of Esquimalt's public works garage. It's a history that's fading, and this is just an attempt to slow that down a little bit. So the municipality set their sights on rebuilding these rusty relics. My heart is in, in the right place when I'm doing this job. War trophies taken by Canada's brave fighters from a deadly game where there are no winners, only survivors. <laughs> The Great War was coined the war to end all wars, 1914 to Remembrance Day, 1918. Nearly 67,000 Canadians were killed. The mostly German weapons of war became trophies or perhaps headstones to those men and women who died. The reason for the restoration is clear, Mike says. To have these guns preserved so that people can actually interact with and you know, remember that. Mike says the federal government shipped home 400 artillery guns. Most were placed in parks, memorials to over 600,000 Canadian fighters. Victoria was given six of these guns. Unfortunately, Mike says the government reclaimed 75% of these monuments, melting them down for the growing World War II machine. Leaders vowing to bomb Germany with the very metal used against Canada in the Great War. And these are the only two are survivors. Not wanting their memorials to end up like so many others, they were reconditioned in the 80s. Rotting wheels were replaced and metal painted. They helped commemorate Esquimalt's 75th anniversary. Nearly 30 years later, it's time to refurbish them again. Time to mark the 100th anniversary of the war. But once plucked from Memorial Park, the public works crews soon realized they had a daunting task ahead. They're in a lot worse shape than we thought when we got them down here. They're 100-year-old puzzles with some pieces missing. Well, that's the breech block that would have been controlled by this handle. They would open it this way, put the shell in, close it. New handle's gonna be made for this. Some of our parts are gonna be actually recreated recast. And although they will never fire, Mike's confident they'll be authentic. Tough task since the soldiers in front of and behind those guns are gone. All that remains are colorless photos at a small group of war buffs, allies in history. The base color, we were able to get a sample of it from a company in Hamburg, Germany. Researchers suggest camouflage too, with paint samples from a U.S. restoration. I don't think anybody will question our thoroughness when, we, when, we, when we're finished with this job. By scraping below the surface, like the German emblem on the barrel, the trophy stories were uncovered. The German army had over 5,000 of those guns in service when the war started. They were built in 1905 and 06. By the Krupp Armament Company of Germany. This one, a modified anti-tank gun, was found partially buried, disabled by Allied fire in 1917. Nearby, 10,000 Canadians lay dead or dying. They captured April 9th at the La Folly Farm in Vimy Ridge. This gun took a direct hit um, which damaged the recoil mechanism of the gun. It's stuck in a partial recoil position. The other field cannon was capable of firing seven kilo shells, shrapnel filled bombs and mustard gas. A trophy earned after both sides suffered over 40,000 casualties each. Captured September 29th, 1918 at Cambrai. Interestingly, both German trophies are intimately connected to the people of BC, to Victoria. Records show the Canadians who captured these 7.7 centimeter Feldkannen were from the 2nd Canadian Mounted Rifles Regiment. 633 men were mobilized at Willow's Camp in Oak Bay. Those young men went willingly. That's what this is about here. It's not about a couple of guns in a park. Churchill said never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. Preserving the past for the future is kind of what we're doing. Right? Placing these restored war trophies back in Memorial Park is the township's way of saying thank you.
we don't do it now, it's going to be lost forever. In Esquimalt, I'm Paul Beilstein. That was the war to end all wars, you know that. It's the Great War.